If you feel stuck in your meditation practice, this video is for you. In my recent videos, I have talked about deconceptualizing the practice of meditation, exposing the very subtle concepts about conscious experience that get in the way of good meditation. Today, I will expose three common beliefs or thoughts about meditation that many people get stuck in. And the great part is that if you can move past these three obstacles, you will advance your meditation practice and experience true insight. The first instruction is meditation should be free of self and effort. Advanced meditation practice is completely effortless. This is sometimes described as non-doing, no self, or simply no effort. Consciously or subconsciously, you might be approaching your meditation with the idea that there is someone, you, meditating on something. Your breath, for example. Even when I say this idea, it sounds so simple and uncontroversial. There's no problem with this, right? It's just my conceptual understanding of what is going on. But there is a problem. The problem is that this idea of subject and object gets us nowhere closer to good meditation or awakening. In fact, it has nothing to do with recognizing the nature of our conscious experience. One of the problems we Westerners encounter in meditation is that on the one hand we have the object of meditation and on the other hand we have ourselves trying to meditate upon it. Right from the start we have this dichotomy. There is me and there is the practice and I'm going to do the practice. And then people wonder why they don't make progress. We need to dissolve the boundary between the subject and the object. In other words, we have to become the meditation. I invite you to close your eyes. Do you have any experiential evidence of the so-called self? When I do this, I personally don't find the self that otherwise feels so solid and real. All that exists are experiential sensations. But to say that those sensations belong to a someone or a self is just a belief or a conceptual idea. Because all there is, all you can know and experience, is experience. The present reality. Practicing to recognize what it is like to be you as a matter of experience can lead to profound meditative insight. But it has to be without concepts, without ideas or conditioning. This is a wonderful way of connecting to the way it is like to be you. To effortless, spontaneous experience. To all there actually is. So how do you practice mindfulness like this? No effort doesn't mean distraction or dullness. Be careful not to confuse non-doing with the belief that you're already enlightened and therefore have nothing to do. The quality of mindfulness is already present, because the nature of mind is already aware, already mindful. But since we spend most of our time distracted and lost in thought, it might not be so easy to recognize. So there is nothing you need to do, or something you need to think, to experience the nature of your mind. If you stop doing, and rest, in natural awareness, without getting caught up or becoming lost, you can recognize the non-dual nature of mind. Number two, not starting meditation. In my video on starting meditation, we discovered that it's best not to start your meditation with the concept of it beginning, whereby the idea of beginning makes you layer on an effort and spiritual artifice that disconnects you from your immediate experience. Over time, the idea of a significant start to your practice session turns into an unconscious habit of just being more tense and thinking about the practice rather than actually practicing. And finally, the third point is stop. And you can notice that awareness happens all on its own. The awareness of consciousness and consciousness itself is not a state to be achieved or something to do. Irregardless of your sense of ownership and intention, your experience happens all on its own. When you sit down to meditate, this can become much clearer. By stopping, it will become easier to notice that the world continues to move around you without any involvement. Sounds, images, thoughts, it all continues even when you stop. The conclusion here was that the effortless mindfulness we are recognizing in advanced meditation is an aspect of consciousness which is natural to consciousness all the time. Only sometimes we are so busy thinking about conscious experience 
that we fail to recognize what is available when we rather experience consciousness as consciousness. How to practice good meditation. Ideas we have can get in the way of effective meditation. And if we understand why our ideas are obstacles, we might still have the habit of letting them sabotage our practice. Try reminding yourself just before you meditate that there is no need to start meditation. That there is no need to apply effort in your meditation. And that there is no meditator meditating. These are three points that will help you focus your practice and practice correctly. Thinking about things is still useful. Being able to recognize the open and expansive free nature of consciousness is also very good. But nevertheless, now you should have some further refinement to locate where you might not have noticed you were getting stuck. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week with a new video.